Demons might be some of the scariest creatures of all time, but after watching this video, you might change your mind. This is part two to the top five Trevor Henderson creatures that are scarier than demons. Coming in at number five, we have Long Horse. This creature has a horse skull for a head and has an extremely long neck with pieces of what appears to be a mane hanging over the neck. Its long neck bends like a finger, which can allow this creature to create as many or as little joints as possible and can create extremely loud cracking noises that will send chills down your spine. It basically looks like a massive bony snake with a skull horse head and it scares you just by looking at it. The long horse is one of the few Trevor Henderson creatures that has so many different abilities such as teleportation, body manipulation, extreme regeneration, immortality, dream and reality manipulation. Ability to infinitely expand its neck and can regrow his bones if torn off. Despite its terrifying appearance it's said to not be harmful to humans but its appearance is most definitely scary than a demon. It is said that the long horse is the human's protector. Its goal is to warn humans of upcoming danger and disasters to come. The sign he shows to humans is supposedly when you hear the loud cracking of its neck or actually see the creature, that's your sign a disaster is coming your way. Another theory is that he actually is a hunter of humans, despite other Trevor Henderson creatures who hide or stalk their prey. The long horse hides in plain sight and lets the prey come to him. When you see him or hear his neck cracking, that's his way of learning you into his trap by appearing to help but actually tricking you into being taken by this monster and never to return. It is said once he disappears with his prey he moves on to another place so he isn't caught. So regardless if he is nice or evil, tread lightly if you are seen by this terrifying creature. The origin of this creature isn't particularly known but it's said to have been around since the ancient times when an ancient cave painting was discovered of the long horse surrounded by three people. Also fun fact about the long horse, it is said to smell like cinnamon so if you smell cinnamon, you may encounter this creature. This doesn't help me, all my candles are cinnamon. Love cinnamon. Coming in at number four, the lamb. The lamb is pink and fleshy with four legs that hang down from its body like noodles and it tends to float in midair. Its body is made out of some sort of fleshy vein like strings. This creature basically looks like a giant brain with legs. The lamb also has a large hole near the top of its body and it's unknown if it's a large eye or a mouth. This hideous creature is related to two other Trevor Henderson creatures, Big Charlie and Lil Nugget. It is said the lamb is actually Lil Nugget grown from Big Charlie's meat chunks that have been cursed and grows hostile and has an appetite for flesh. The lamb doesn't possess too many different abilities compared to other Trevor Henderson creatures, but the ones it does are deadly. It said this creature causes massive psychic damage to its victims, and also if you try to shoot the being, it won't do much, so if you choose to try and run instead, you better be quick before the creature causes you a blood clot or the gravity to reverse. This monster is not only hideous, but it is extremely dangerous. If you ever come in contact with it, take extreme caution. It's also unknown on how to defeat this creature due to its psychic manipulation and thirst for human flesh. All I can say is if you come in contact with the lamb, you better run, run, quick, and don't stop. Coming in at number three, wildfire giants. These are a large group of mysterious giant creatures, and each of these eight giants, they have their own unique appearances, sizes, abilities, and behaviors. The creatures that are considered to be a part of this group is the hexapod giant, root head, the meatball, signal bug, the darkness, fog riser, giant moth, and the bloomer. Each of these massive creatures are terrifying in their own way, but the scary and most harmful to humans is the meatball. This monster looks like a large pinky red ball, appearing to be extremely wrinkly and fleshy with many thick veins and lumps bulging. Near the bottom of the head is a large mouth with thin and fleshy lips and several sets of sharp teeth in the front and back of its mouth. To the eye, this thing is hideous, which makes it even scarier because it's terrifying to look at. Considered to be one of the most intelligent members of the wildfire giants, the meatball possessed many different abilities, including levitation. They can bite large targets that causes severe damage and leaves a large amount of saliva after attacking their prey, which could drown or at least slow down their victims. This creature can also ascend from above to attack an individual or even a large group of people before disappearing back into the clouds above. And it's said that this creature not only kills people for food, but also just for fun. Another terrifying fact about the meatball is that it has a laugh that resembles a loud shriek, which can cause victims temporary deafness, disorientation, and could possibly rattle their organs. The wildfire giants are a true force to be reckoned with due to their intimidating presence, dangerous abilities, and massive size, and they tend to roam around the state of California. So if you're going on vacation, be sure to make sure you're aware of your surroundings and stay in a group so you don't encounter these terrifying creatures. Coming in at number two, we have the Wandering Faith. This dinosaur-looking creature looks like something straight out of Jurassic Park. This is one of the largest Trevor Henderson creatures. It can be up to 10 kilometers tall with four massive legs and grayish black skin.
skin. They appear to be quite skeletal in appearance as the shape of the bones are visible despite having quite thick skin, and its body is lumpy and round but doesn't have any visible bones sticking out. Its neck is almost as thick as its body that leads to its strange tubular head, and its neck is so long it can travel far into the clouds. The most terrifying is that it has four long tentacles branching out of its body, and those are used to lift its prey into its mouth and feed on them. The Wandering Faith is one of the most known members of the group of the Giants. This group of creatures are said to roam the Earth in a separate universe than other cryptids. Another scary fact about this creature is that it's able to reproduce. Yes, you heard that right. There could be multiple of these massive creatures wandering around. The theory says that it's able to reproduce with other Giants and looks obviously very similar to the Wandering Faith, but it's smaller and thinner in size. Their name comes from a theory that the Wandering Faith was sent down from heaven to grab the believers and their long tentacles actually raise them up to heaven. Even though it's ultimately their death, they say they go on to a better place and this creature only attacks the most pure and faithful people, often being worshipped by people of faith. Also something to know is that this creature only comes out on stormy and foggy days, so my advice would be to stay inside on those days to keep yourself safe. Unless you are a worshipper of this monstrous creature and want to come into contact with him, then make sure to get out on those days and wish you luck. And finally in at number 1 we have Bridge Worm slash Highway Worm. The infamous Bridge Worm is a massive 85 ton long worm that is 9 feet long with human arms and their face includes a layer of 36 sharp teeth that lines its huge mouth. This creature lurks under bridges along the highways. This terrifying creature can change its face through a flap of skin to lure their victims into thinking they're harmless. But before they realise they're in danger, the monster jumps out of the bridge showing its horrific grin, then grabbing the victim with its bony arms and ultimately killing them. If you get away from the creature's first attack, you better run because they have the ability to chase you down so you better be quick. Also the bridge worm's eyes are slanted and tend to flop around when they are attacking their prey. Something to note is that these creatures are very deceptive. They have the ability to camouflage themselves from you despite their size and also have massive amounts of strength so they're pretty much a triple threat, so beware. Once the bridge worm reaches adulthood, it is considered to now be a highway worm. It is theorized that this creature is a mutation of some sort of large worm species. Looking obviously similar to the bridge worm, its skin is grey and more of a dull yellow that appears leathery in texture. It also has two bright yellow glowing eyes on the top of its head. Similar to its younger self, the highway worm hides or camouflages itself before attacking its prey. It tends to lure out drivers on the highways that are alone, lunge out, break the car window and quickly grab the driver with its sharp teeth and go back into hiding. Humans tend to be the main source of food for this creature, but they also feed on birds, snakes, deer and larger rodents. The most terrifying fact is that it's unknown if you can capture or terminate this creature. So be careful and make sure to check your surroundings when travelling under bridges and on highways at night, because that is when this creature tends to hunt their prey due to them being nocturnal. The bridge and highway worms tend to exist mainly in the United States, in states like Florida, Alabama and Georgia, but have also been spotted in areas such as the UK, France, Germany and Denmark. Well there we have it, I will see you in the next video.